Hey my name is Greg, and today we're doing a Lego set review of the Jurassic World set. Um, Atro Captor? Atro Raptor, I don't know how to say that. A dinosaur bike chase. It has 169 pieces, is $20 in the United States, I'm pretty sure, and has three mini, or two mini figures and like a little, some dinosaur people, or dinosaur characters. So let's start the review with the, um, mini figures. So the first mini figure is, um, Owen Grady. Uh, he's like the um, main character of the series. He's played by him, Chris Pratt in the movies, which is um fun fact is the person who plays um voices Emmett in Lego Movie, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I think I have this character before. Uh, it's probably keep going out of focus or in yeah out of focus. There we go. So yeah, so you see he has like the um I don't know what piece this is, but this hair piece um in like an orange. Uh, he has the same face that's been used for um. I think most for this character for a while, and also um the Star Lord character, which is played by Chris Pratt as well, same actor. I uh, think he has a pretty basic shirt kind of design. I think a new one, but like or an exclusive one to this character, but like still a new um a pretty basic one. Same with a pretty basic back, uh, and then some pants that have like a belt and a little holster on it. Oh yeah, pretty cool. I don't think he has an accessory. He's supposed to be doing his like um driving his bicycle. Which could be counted as an accessory. This is a pretty unique bicycle. I don't think I have this type of bicycle. Yeah, it's pretty... Or motorcycle. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, so let's move on to the next minifigure, which is a Rain Delacourt. So I don't actually know who this character is, because I haven't seen this movie. So I don't... I'm um, Jurassic World Dominion. So I don't actually know who, who this is. But he looks pretty cool. He has the um, Snape hair in brown. I don't know if it's a Snape hair. Like Prince of Persia hair, I think is what it's technically called. I'll be in brown. I don't think I have this um, hair piece in that color. It's pretty cool. Uh, he has a pretty evil looking expression. Kind of evilly uh, happy on this side. Just kind of mad on this side. He has like a weird like scar or like tattoo or something on his face. It's probably a thing of his character in like a five o'clock shadow. Uh, then he has this like interesting coat. It looks like it has like a Hawaiian shirt under it or something. Which is pretty interesting. Uh, then another belt kind of design. Kind of similar to Owen Grady's one. And then he has a, a tranquilizer gun right here, which I think is pretty cool. That's the pretty standard, like, tranquilizer gun piece with a little thing on top to put a little dart in it. But yeah, and then he actually has, a, he has a black glove and a red glove, which I think is pretty interesting, weird. That's probably a thing in the movie as well. But yeah, I think it's very interesting. But yeah, so with that, the character, the actual minifigures, we can now move on to the dinosaurs, which really in Jurassic World sets is really the most interesting part. So we start off with the... Um, the all atro raptor, as it's um, called. Yeah, this one, this is my first raptor piece, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have any other ones. But yeah, so it's like a pretty interesting color. So it's like white with some brown stripes. And then a um, run red eye. His mouth kind of opens a little bit. Pretty cool. And he has like one stud on top. So a minifigure can ride him, hypothetically. Which is pretty cool. But that's what I have to say about this character. He's pretty cool. He can fit on some studs. But I think it's pretty cool that I have this one. Right, so now we have these two dinosaurs, which... So this one, I think... Because I have that poly bag with the baby dinosaur poly bag. Um, I did lose the baby dinosaur pieces. That's probably... So it's good that this set came with some. Uh, this is the one that came in that poly bag. It's like an orange kind of color. That's pretty cute. And then this one, which is more interesting to me. This kind of orange and purple color. Some yellow. Or some tan, I think. Uh, pretty interesting to me. This is actually a very interesting color scheme. And yeah, so I like this one. Only fits on one stud, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so that's really it for the, the characters and the dinosaurs yeah. and stuff. Let's move on to the build of the set. So the build of the set, I think it's supposed to be like a, a some place in a town. I think I thought initially it was a um like a something else like a um trying to think what what oh I am a like a museum display. That's what I was thinking, but it looks like a town. At least judging from the box art, it looks like a town of some kind. Uh, you can see, let's start from this part and go on. So first we have this part, this little um, display case thing, which can be separate actually, which is pretty cool and pretty interesting. Um, it has the place, this is actually where the baby dinosaurs go. I'm sorry, I hit my water bottle. Uh, the baby dinosaur can we put here. Uh, there's like some embryo, a little um, roof right here, I think it's pretty, pretty cool. And you can put it right there, which I think is where it's supposed to go, at least according to the box. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, some more little details right there. Um, right here, this little part actually looks pretty empty. And that's because it's supposed to have 
I think supposed to have the dinosaur on it of some kind or something. And on the back right here, there's a little gear that turns. Uh, the dino, this might be not be the best one to use it with, but you can see it can turn. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I'd say. Okay, so then there's just some more little space up here, a little um, bar piece. And this little kind of bridge or arch looking thing, which is interesting because this can um, break open. These are on very loose pieces, so they can uh, break open pretty easily, which is kind of the point. The dinosaur, uh, like, busts through, and it breaks the thing, this part off. And only this piece is loose, which is interesting to me. Um, but yeah, so that's really it for that. Uh, this is the place you can put the bike through, which is pretty cool. Uh, then there's just a little, um, detail, a little light, and then a box with a, like, a skull in it or something, like a, um, little head, which is, or, uh, like a, like, cow's head or something, which is pretty interesting. This is, like, I'm a, just try to focus it again. Uh, this is a, like, a gun piece with some extra pieces on it, which is a very interesting use of pieces. I like that. Pretty cool. Is there a name? I think there's a name for that. But yeah, that's pretty cool, like, for a, having a unique use of pieces. Oh, uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this build and this set overall. So I think I'm going to transition to the uh, final verdict of the set. So overall, this is like one of the only, I think the only, one of the only like full Jurassic Park sets I have. And I think it's a good, if you want like a Jurassic Park set or Jurassic World set, sorry. I think it's a pretty good one. It has like the dinosaur, like the little dinosaur. It has like the characters you want. Like it has the main character and I assume is the main villain, just the way he looks. I assume this, um, Lorraine... Dalincourt is the main villain. Oh, yeah, it has some baby dinosaurs, a little display piece. Oh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good set overall, I'd say. So, I'd say I overall do recommend it if you want any of the Jurassic Park sets or Jurassic World sets. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. And, yeah, so go to the channel's page, whatever that's called, the channel, extra channels line that's on there. And subscribe to those channels, including my brother Jake's channel, it's JJ. My brother's friends, um, Paul Bricks and Jay Former, and my friend Owen. Subscribe to all those. That's the end of this video. And we'll see you later. Bye.